All right, guys, take a guess as to which movie I just reviewed. If you said Matrix, you're right. No, it's Spider-Man. What is up, MCU fans? Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this mask off, hang on. Probably wasn't even on right anyway, I have a big head, but today we're gonna talk episode five of Hawkeye. Oh my goodness. We have a lot to talk about. The big reveal at the end of the episode, but a lot of the interactions between Yelena, Kate Bishop, Kate Bishop, and Hawkeye. Uh, so we're gonna get right into it. Spoiler heavy video, three, two, one. Let's do it. And the episode starts out in a place that I did not expect at all. And we were all kind of wondering where was Yelena during the blip and how did she leave, come back? Was she even a part of the blip in the first place? Uh, but we get our answer and it is just like that episode in WandaVision, very dramatic, kind of the other side of what we've seen previously with the comedic uh, bits surrounding the blip. So I thought that was a great way to start the episode. And what I love about this episode is you're kind of digging into the mentality of Yelena, a character who just popped up in episode four, but we're already learning more about her, kind of what her mindset is and the pain, the anger that she's not showing, but she is clearly feeling feeling because of her sister. Kate Bishop kind of wondering, okay, who brought you in? Why are you here? Uh, and what is your ultimate mission? I mean, I know you're after Hawkeye, but you couldn't honestly believe Hawkeye, Clint Barton. I mean, of course, he's not Ronan. He's the best guy. Uh, but you couldn't believe he was the one that took out one of his best friends in the world. Of course, Yelena, she doesn't know this, uh, but she was hired to take him out. And the revelation that we get at the end of the episode as to who hired her and then, who hired her? Who hired her? The boss, the boss, right? Well, it answers all of our questions. I also love the quirkiness of Yelena in this episode. Calling Kate, Kate Bishop, every time she refers to her. Uh, expressing her love for hot sauce and sriracha, which is like one of my favorite things in the world. So, I am relating very heavily. And then, of course, saying she traveled to New York, which I just did. So, I'm like, Yelena! like soulmates, uh, but you know, you feel like they're having an engaging conversation, kind of making pals a little bit. She even says, I enjoyed this girl's night out, but at the end of the day, she is here on business. Do not cross me again, even though you can tell there's a little bit of trust there, which I enjoy. Then Kate goes back home and finds old mama's boyfriend. Uh, he's getting taken off, getting arrested because she finally said, you know what? I'm going to do the right thing for myself and for my daughter. <laughs> I should have known Vera Farmega when she was cast uh, that she would be up to no good. But it's funny, they kind of swerved us in a different direction with uh, the boyfriend coming in and kind of making you think it was all him. But really, it looks like it's all her. And uh, that conflict in this final episode next week between Kate and her mother is going to be absolutely crazy. Then we go back to Hawkeye, man. He's just... He's so exhausted after everything he's had to go through. Uh, his LARPing buddy saying, listen, man, I don't want Hawkeye staying in a hotel on Christmas. You can stay here. You can sleep on the couch. Heck, you can sleep in the bed. And then, of course, our beautiful dog is hanging out with him. But we still have the storyline uh, where Maya is just trying to exact her revenge on Ronan. That's all she wants. And Clint says, you know what? I've had enough of this. He goes to this monument set up for all the things that went down in 2012. And you see Natasha's name there. And he's kind of having a little conversation saying, you know what? I'm going to end this right now. Can't stand this anymore. And then it comes down to this really fun fight scene between he and Maya. And at the end of the day, Maya does kind of get the, the advantage on him, and it does, even though Hawkeye took her out at first, it does look like Maya had the opportunity to kill Clint at a point, because she's not buying all the stuff he's kind of spelling out for her, at least at first, she's not buying it, because once uh, Kate kind of comes in, saves the day, and then it looked like they Ubered out of there, which is the most, and even Clint's like, come on, we're Okay, whatever. Just get me out of here. Uh, Maya's starting to question some things. She took what Hawkeye said to heart, and now she's asking questions. And she goes up to her little partner and says, Listen, I, you weren't there that night, but I know you should have been there. So where were you? And is everyone here telling the truth? Because Hawkeye tells her during that fight, Listen, uh, well, we know who it is now, but the boss wanted your father dead. And that started to spark a little bit of, um, well, let's just say it gave her something to think about. So lots of things for our characters to think about. There's still uh, so many elements of this show that have to come together in the final episode. But man, what we were able to get, and 
Again, less of an action-packed episode, but I don't mind the show being that. I, I like the intricate look at these characters. I like seeing uh, Clint Barton beaten down and broken. He has that conversation with his wife. He's like, we don't want this to come back to us, and I need you to get as far away from this as possible. Sounds like she is in it as well, and uh, we heard word last week that they could very well go to the storyline from the comics that she is a spy herself. They haven't really dove into that. Dove? Divin? Dived? They haven't really dived into that just yet, but I feel like they may eventually. And then, of course, the big reveal at the end. We knew. We, I mean, it's been rumored and craziness happening, but uh, man, what a way to end this episode showing the guy that everybody's been talking about. Oh, it's the guy. It's the boss. Now, who is this boss? It's the big man. Well, Wilson Fisk. I mean, oh, Vincent D'Onofrio. As Wilson Fisk. And we got word last week, Kevin Feige saying, okay, Charlie Cox is returning as Daredevil. Of course, Charlie Cox is returning as Daredevil. But who's who's going to come along with him on that journey uh, and pair perfectly, beautifully with him? And I, God, I want them to cross paths uh, as soon as possible. But for Fisk to make his debut in this show and, of course, you know, cameo in this episode, a major presence, I have a feeling, in the finale, and I just, I want to see how that culminates, I want to see how it comes together, all of these different storylines, and the fact that they were able to seamlessly bring uh, Yelena into the show like they did is so impressive. I feel like the biggest complaint about these last couple of episodes is just going to be not as much action, but... You know, I, I'm really loving the character work they're doing, man. This is a scaled-back, stripped-down episode that, uh, or, or really series, that is exploring who these characters are, what they are, and what their role is to be in this universe. And um, I, for one, I'm on board, man. What a, what a really cool set of reveals in this episode. So... My, my question for you all is, well, first of all, if you like this video and you want to drop it a thumbs up down below, that would be awesome. It tells me you want more things like this and you'd like to see my Spider-Man review coming on this channel very soon. Uh, but I need a comment, man. What, what was your favorite part, character, aspect, and what are your predictions? I need predictions for the finale. Who's coming? Beyond Fisk. We know Fisk is coming, but are there going to be any more major reveals? All right, guys, I'm done talking. Uh, get ready for Spider-Man No Way Home because my review is hopefully coming out on this channel very, very soon. And in the finale of Hawkeye next week.